What's the Gratitude Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today we're talking about the triceps. I'm going to show you my super six. The six best exercises when you're trying to build your triceps up. And we're going to base the selection as we always do here on the science and the anatomy. It starts with the anatomy and always guys in this series it's going to start with the muscle markers. You see if we understand the attachments we can pretty much determine what exercises we need to pick. Because we see here with the triceps that we have an area here in red which is indicating where the medial and the lateral head of the triceps are and the important point is that they are attaching on the humerus. Okay? The long head has its own separate attachment that's up here on the shoulder blade. That means that it crosses the shoulder joint. So there's some indications that we need to do some different things. In other words, we have to involve the shoulders in different positions if we want to get the long head. Well that means that there's going to be some changes in shoulder position with the exercises we pick, but we also have to indicate some other things that are important when we make selections like which exercises allow us to overload, which exercises apply a good eccentric stress because these are all the things that we know we can apply to make a muscle grow. So what are my selections? Well, let's start right here. Okay, the very first one that comes up is something I call the rocking pushdown. And the reason why we do this is because we get a lot of advantages. We can take that long head of the tricep that has that unique attachment on the shoulder and get it to fully contract. And the way we do that is we get it back behind our body. The only way you're going to get a complete contraction of the long head is to get that arm back behind the body with the elbow straight. So what I like to do is attach two ropes here because I want to have longer travel and the ability to get my arm back behind my body even further. Two ropes up here I get in this position. You guys have probably seen me cover this before. You've probably seen others poorly copy it and try to cover it before. The fact is to do it right what you do is you get your hands in this position here with the rope as much as you can perpendicular to your forearms. Right there. Now we know when we initiate and start pushing down we can maintain that position of the arm here being perpendicular to the rope but in order to keep it there we need to kind of allow ourselves to rock backwards as we get the arm back behind our body. So the two goals are try to mirror the rope perpendicular to the forearm here and all the way down to the end and also try to get that arm back behind the body. And You can see that it takes that arm all the way through and the tricep through the entire range of motion. The next thing we want to do is move over here to the bench. The long header. I'm kind of obsessed with this at the moment. We want to make sure now that we can get the long head on stretch, good eccentric overload and actually again create overload because of the weights that we can use on the exercise. So we do this exercise here which is the lion tricep extension. The benefit is if we get to the end of the bench here then we can get a little extra stretch. So we're in this position here we know that we want to finish up with the arms angled back because we know that if we go straight up overhead that there's a lot of loss of tension because the weight is acting straight down parallel to my forearm so we're taking a lot of the work away from the triceps. If I can go back a little bit then we know that we have some extra work being done. But when I get down to the level of the bench there's nothing stopping me from letting it drop just a little bit more to get more flexion on the shoulder, more of a stretch on that long head because of its attachment. Come up and extend, down, drop, up, extend, drop, down. Exercise number two. Number three, we pop this up in the same vein. We want to have the opportunity to get more stretch on that long head. Again, it's the only head that has unique attachments from the other two, so you want to make sure that you're exploring ways that you can preferentially hit it because we know any extension of the elbow is going to get the other two heads. So what we do is we do this overhead extension with the dumbbell, but we do it on an incline like this. So you can see the triceps already fired up on that angled position. We drop down here and we come up and extend. Drop down and up and extend. You'll feel a difference here between this and the easy bar variation. But the point is you want to do them like this as opposed to sitting up here like that. Because look at what happens to the elbows. As soon as I have to sit upright the elbows point out directly to my sides and my shoulders get back behind my body. This is like the same positioning we get from the over uh, from the behind the neck shoulder press. We don't want that. For shoulder health we want to be able to get our elbows in front of our body. And because of the incline here you'll see when I drop the elbows stay nicely in front of the body and I still get that full stretch on the triceps. So that's exercise number three. Number four, the tricep kickback. Yes, the tricep kickback because if you understand 
everything we just said, you'll realize that you want to be able to load tension on the triceps in a position with the elbow straight and the arm behind the body. This is how you do it. And this is a great exercise regardless of what anybody says about it. You can perform it right here on an incline bench. You don't have to use super light weights. And the range of motion is this, from here to there, here to there. It doesn't mean that an exercise has to have the joint's full range of motion to be effective. The full range of motion on an exercise is whatever that exercise's range of motion is. This is the effective range of motion on a kickback, from straight down to straight back, straight down to straight back. And we're getting the extension of the elbow and the arm behind our body, and therefore hitting what we need to hit. We don't need to have the elbow come all the way up here into full flexion to make it effective. Moving on. We need to move some weight. Even though we're not getting extension of the arm behind the body on the close grip bench press, we're getting an opportunity to get full elbow extension with heavier loads. So we include the close grip bench press in the equation. So just outside of shoulder width grip, underneath here, lift, come down, same thing applies, shoulders down and back, get in here, nice and tight, little pause at the bottom, the extension of the elbow at the top, definitely overloading the triceps. Again, no extension of the arm behind the body, so less of a long head developer, but we've already been doing that with the other exercises that we selected. But there's some opportunity to load up some weight here. And then finally, another opportunity to load some weight, but with the additional benefit of actually getting the arm behind the body. And that would be this weighted dip. So you take a weight around your waist, come up here, and how you perform this means everything, right? So we get in here, we wanna stay upright. The more we lean forward, the more chest we're gonna develop. Come around this way. The more chest we develop, the more we stay upright, the more we place the focus on the triceps. I also wanna get my body through, and the chest through behind, beyond the hands so that I can take that arm behind the body, as we've mentioned here many times. So what we do is, the following, we get up here, and we get a little bit forward, through, without leaning forward. So we get our arms back behind the body, straight down, push up, and through. Down, up, and through. Down, and through. I like to push through the hands, like that, to, get, to reinforce full extension here of the elbow. Down, Full extension of the elbow. So, there you have it, guys. There's the six exercises, the super six for triceps, taking into consideration the anatomy of the muscle, the function of the muscle, and making sure that we understand the way our body moves through each of these exercises to complement any of the missing links. We hit them all here, guys, and I want you guys to make sure you go out there and start using them. If you're looking for more of these exercise super six selections, Make sure you let me know what you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you. In the meantime, if you haven't already done so, guys, click subscribe and turn your notifications. And if you're looking for a step-by-step -step program that puts the science into the selections of what we do in all of our programs, you can find them over at athletenext.com. All right, guys, see you soon.